Welcome back to another edition of the Western Officiating Branch Partnership. Today we want to talk about grassroots officiating and the importance grassroots officials development plays in the long-term success for both the official and the officiating program. We're going to hear from some of our WHL officiating coaches. We're going to speak on their experiences as grassroots officials, as mentors, and as officiating coaches. Well, the first thing I guess would be to um, realize the importance of the game to the people playing it. One of the things I learned really young was the 40 sets of eyes looking at you, it means something to them. Now it means different things at different levels for people, but give them the respect of what they're doing out there. They're putting in an effort, so you put in an effort as well for them and do the right thing. It's really important to make a good first impression. And by the first impression, I mean how you look. Uh, your, is your uniform clean? Are your skates polished? Do you look the part? And the most important thing is going out every time you have an opportunity to do a game and to do it to the best of your ability. You're absolutely going to make mistakes because you don't know everything yet. So that's going to be acceptable as long as you're making the effort. And people will respect that and separates you from a lot of other people right from the beginning if you go out there and do the best possible job you can every time you step on the ice. When I started I was 13 so um, that was grassroots and um, at that time we didn't get a ton of supervision but working with the older guys that worked the hockey and that were committed to the game it was it was really good it was a good way to learn um, you know as you progressed along just like the players. I think one of the biggest things you learn at the grassroots level is just just the familiarity with the game and the concept of being an official as opposed to being a player you learn that from mentors and whatnot, but the basics of positioning and and the uh, habits that you develop and the habits that you have to have intuitively and instinctively, instead of you know having to think about doing things and whatnot, and that that all begins to take shape at the grassroots level when you have instruction from uh, mentors and those sorts of things. That uh, again, they'll come and they'll say, "Here's where you need to stand from a position standpoint," or "Here's what you need to be watching for." And, Here's where the face-offs are conducted and all of those things that, that really are important at the most basic level and they begin the process of building your foundation for having good habits and, and for learning the important parts of the structure of the game and the structure of officiating within the game. I always you know, think that, that um, you know, where you start out um, is where you start to have fun. When, when this job is fun, you're going to you're going to want to challenge yourself and you're going to want to succeed and you're going to want to try to get better and uh, and I think those are those are some of the things that drew me to the job like the job has its own challenges and and uh, but it was the it was the fun that I had along the way with the you know my fellow officials that uh, that really you know kept me wanting to to come back and and keep getting better you know try to take in as much information as they can understand that they're, they're just out there to learn. Uh, we don't expect uh, them to master the game at, at a young age. We just want them to go out, have fun, understand the rules, focus on that end of it, the positioning, the other things like that. They're important, but we can work on those things. Uh, the, you know, for a young official, I think it's most important that they understand the rule book, understand that their purpose out there is to keep the game safe. And from then on, we can you know, help them develop the other things. Some very good insight on grassroots officiating and its role in the building an official's foundation at a very young age. Now we're going to hear from some different participants in the game. We're going to hear from a minor hockey official who is going to discuss the challenges of refereeing minor hockey and the advice he has from his experiences. We're also going to hear from a parent and their expectations, not only of her hockey player, but the expectations of her coach and the officials involved in the game. Finally, we're going to hear from a coach, his thoughts on his player's behavior and what his expectations are of officials. The uh, challenge is that you never know how the game's really going to go until you get out there, whether you're going to have players act up or you're going to have coaches that don't agree with what you're calling or have a different perspective on what they think a penalty is. And just be confident, be strong on your whistles, don't, don't back away from any coaches. Be confident then they won't challenge you. I think the bottom line is for officials to be respectful towards players and coaches. It goes both ways of course but I believe respect and to do their best at calling a fair game. There's two teams on the ice. Um, I'm fully aware that mistakes will be made 
um, own your mistakes, um, but bottom line, be fair and respectful. Everyone makes mistakes. If you have a question, always approach them with respect. The big thing with me is safety. Uh, if it's a safe game and they're calling the appropriate penalties, that's what we like to, to see. Um, and just to be fair on both sides. Um, whenever I uh, shake the hand of the ref at the start of the game, I ask for his his name, so we have first name basis to make sure that we're on the same page and um, to make sure to respect the refs in, in all aspects of the game too. And there's no need to get fired up or yell at refs because it's not worth it. Some really good points on different perspectives from all those involved in the game of hockey. From my perspective of a parent of a one-time grassroots official, it can be challenging as an official's parents to be in the arena and see and hear some of the things your son or daughter goes through. We want to make sure that the parents and the officials understand all the lifelong skills the officials are learning along with their officiating skills. For example, decision-making, communication, commitment, working as a team, dealing with conflict, just to name a few of the skills that they're going to learn. From the official's perspective, Grassroots is a place where we build our foundation as an official. We begin to learn the basic skills of officiating, blowing the whistle, positioning, signals, and many other skills which will all be mentioned by our officiating coaches, mentors, and peers. Building blocks of our fishing program are our grassroots officials. Everything starts with them. They are the officials that will be working our provincial and national championships down the road. We encourage the grassroots officials to ask questions, seek guidance from their mentors and officiating coaches, and know that behind them is a team of officials from across Western Canada that both supports and encourages your development. We wish you the best of luck in the upcoming games. Be safe out there on the ice and travel safe. We'll see you soon.